What's up you guys, it's Steve here and I have three different stimulus check programs that are going on right now that I'm gonna let you know are available. And for one of them, applications are being accepted at this moment only for this week. I'm gonna get you all the details, who's eligible, what's involved and how to apply in this video. And this is your stimulus check update. Now in addition to that, I've also got some breaking news for you that came out today on what's happening with Ukraine, NATO and Russia and the United States and also you guys right now congress is working away on the build back better bill i mentioned this to you and gave you all the details in a previous video if you missed it be sure to check it out right after this one and also we have protests going on for the build back better bill take a look you guys one well, protester shut down parts of k street this morning calling on president joe biden to ramp up his fight for the build back better plan the white house's plan would put funds toward fighting climate change and would expand child care medicare and universal pre-k but so far there just aren't enough sin Senators in favor to push it through. So there you have it, and I'll keep you up to date on the Build Back Better bill as we have protesters pushing to get this passed. They'd like to see all the provisions, including that child tax credit. And we also have a potential arrival time for the Build Back Better bill. I covered it in a previous video. If you missed it, check it out. As we heard from progressives, Democrats, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, they said it's a soft deadline, but we have a date as to when they'd like to see that passed. And again, if you missed it, check it out right after this video. But you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest with stimulus checks, breaking news, everything going on right now so you know what's available to you. And before we dive in though, also wanted to say thank you for all the support on that second channel, Steve Ram Finance. And if you're interested in learning about growing wealth and personal finance, I'll pin a comment down below. You can click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications. Gonna be adding more uh, video content on that channel as well. But right now, Let's get you caught up on economic news. And let's start off by smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just takes a second, really helps me out a ton. I appreciate it, thank you so much. Also leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free to do so. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in and let's start off with the breaking news about what's happening today with Ukraine, Russia, the United States, and NATO. Let's bring you that breaking news. NBC News confirming that President Biden has formally approved plans to send U.S. troops to Eastern Europe in response to the Russian threat to Ukraine. I want to bring in NBC's chief White House correspondent, Peter Alexander, and bring back former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Bill Taylor. Peter, what do you know? I think this announcement will be formalized in the next uh, 45 minutes or so when we hear from John Kirby, the spokesperson at the Department of Defense. But NBC News has now confirmed that at the president's direction and following the recommendation of the defense secretary, Secretary Austin, the U.S. will be repositioning some forces already in Europe into Eastern Europe and then mobilizing some American troops from here in the, yes, uh, in the U.S. into Europe right now. Here are the specific numbers, and I'm told this by a senior administration official just during this commercial break that 1,000 American service members already uh, in Europe right now will be repositioned to Romania. 2,000 American troops presently in the United States who have been put, not, put on a heightened state of alert will be sent overseas to Poland and Germany. In both uh, of those situations, those troops will be augmenting, will be joining other American forces in those countries right now. Here's the official statement that we received just moments ago. And because we're just learning this information, I want to share it with you. The most important takeaway here is that no American troops will be going to Ukraine. Ukraine is not a member of NATO. They're not a U.S. NATO ally, so the U.S. will not be going there. But the statement reads as follows. It says that the president's direction and following Secretary Austin recommendation the Department of Defense will reposition certain European based Europe based units further east forward deploy additional US based units to Europe and maintain the heightened state of readiness of response forces to meet these commitments. It adds, these forces are not going to fight in Ukraine. They are not permanent moves. They respond to current conditions. So again, Stephanie, the breaking news right now 
is that President Biden has now formally approved American troops to move into Eastern Europe, given the circumstances right now as it relates to the standoff between Russia, the U.S., uh, and the U.S. over Ukraine. It's a total of 3,000 American troops at this time. Just a matter of days ago, the president had said he would need to do this in the near term to do it soon because he said if they waited, it would take too long to put those forces into position to help uh, our allies in that region, America's allies in that region. Steph. So there you have it, you guys. That was today. And we've heard that President Joe Biden is sending troops over. However, they are not going to Ukraine. They are going to defend our NATO allies. And apparently Ukraine is not one of those. So just positioning troops into place. Now, as more develops with that, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. But also, you guys, now let's talk about those stimulus checks. Now, the first one up, link in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Guaranteed money applications open for single mothers in Birmingham right now. And let's take a look at some video footage so you can get caught up. Yeah, single mother families represent about 60% of households in the city of Birmingham. Many of them are about to get a big step up from the city. Uh, through the city's program, Embrace Mothers, 110 single moms in the city will receive $375 a month for the next 12 months. So these mothers will be selected by a random drawing based on applications. This money is through a grant the city received to help research the impact of guaranteed money. Now, applications open at 8 o'clock this morning. It closes next Monday, February 7th. So there's a short window, only one week to apply. If you're interested, you can find the application at that website right there on your screen. Now, to be eligible, you must be a female head of the house caring for at least one child under the age of 18. The city says that this money comes with no strings attached. So there you have it. And if you are a mother in Birmingham, Alabama, be sure to apply right away as you could be one of the lucky lottery selections that could get this monthly reoccurring check. They're just going to be selecting at random. So be sure to apply right away at that website we saw. Now, next up, link in the description below to this one. Residents of this city may be in line for more stimulus aid. And this one says that a lot of people saw, saw their financial situations change for the worst during the course of the pandemic. And residents of New Orleans are no exception. And it says, as was the case in much of the country, many renters in New Orleans fell behind on their housing payments during the pandemic. And the fear is that those unable to catch up could face eviction. So you guys, they're going to be giving out more rental aid assistance, stimulus money in New Orleans. And take a look, you guys, ramping up on aid. During the pandemic, unemployment soared in Louisiana, as it did with many states. And the workers who lost their jobs and didn't have savings to fall back on may have easily gotten behind on their rent. And it says that New Orleans, they're going to be providing an additional $37 million for rental aid to get them back on track. So you guys, this is gonna be from the mayor's office. The Housing Policy and Community Development has announced this. They're gonna be starting this up and link in the description below if you'd like to get more information on this rental aid and housing assistance for New Orleans. And lastly, you guys, the big one, take a look at this, $900 a month is gonna be coming to some Americans. This article says that there hasn't been a stimulus check in 2022, and it doesn't seem like there will be one anytime soon, if at all, but some people still struggling financially because of the pandemic can get a $900 a month stimulus check thanks to a new program, and it's called Strong Families, Strong Future DC, and is using $1.5 million to give eligible recipients $900 every month this year. So who gets it? Well, it's gonna be going to 132 new expectant mothers in Washington DC, specifically ones in certain city wards, the DC mayor, Mural Browser explained. Having a newborn is a big life change, and we also know how critical those first months and years are to the baby's life. Now, this program program is about supporting new and expected moms with cash so that they can have flexibility to make the choices for them and their baby. Now, the Strong Family, Strong Future DC pilot builds on the work that we've done to address disparity in maternal health outcomes, make high quality childcare more affordable and accessible, and ensure women are at the heart of our equitable economic recovery strategy. Now, those involved in the Strong Family, Strong Future will be tracked so that at the end of the year, the program can evaluate to see how the direct payments impact mothers and their children's physical and mental health. It is bound to make a difference. Most parents spend at least $300 a month on baby necessities like diapers, wipes, and formula. And you guys, there are a lot of these programs popping up left and right. I'll be sure to keep you up to date as they come out, but we're seeing these and we're hearing that these are going to be the foundation. These studies 
for potentially more to come. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date as they roll out and it seems like it's just about every other day now. So congratulations to those of you that are gonna be eligible and could receive these stimulus checks. And like I said, I'll keep you up to date as more come out. And you guys, that is the latest on stimulus check updates. Thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps out my channel a ton, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you like to stay up to date, totally free, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3, and consider joining that second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.